Hey guys, my modular is all wired up and patched. 62 patch cables and ready to go. But that's not the subject of this afternoon's uh, talk. Dear friends, we are trying to encourage you into modular and uh, specifically a DIY in 2022. Do you remember tab books? I have here electronic musical instruments and an even more important one electronic music circuit guide book. This book is now worth 400 US dollars second hand on Amazon. That's how much ancient circuits for synthesizers is sought after and this was my inspiration back in 1976. Dear friends to show you how serious I am about the topic and to show you that I'm not kidding around here is what you will buy to get going with your stuff. Here we have polyester capacitors and we have ceramic capacitors as you can see they come in all sorts of ratings and you can get a grab bag we have a from from a grab bag of electrolytics we got them from resistors we got these we got a whole set of standard values of resistors and here we have LM324 LM324 ICs and uh, popular transistors would be here we would have uh, 2N2222 uh, that's a good one and uh, small signal transistors very popular BC327 all popular ones you get about 10 of them in a pot and finally we have 1N914 uh, diodes uh, switching diodes uh, low current diodes suitable for all sorts of applications. So why am I showing you this? Because I want to get you into DIY in 2022. Now all these parts packs are readily available for small money on uh, DigiKey, JDR Electronics or Mauser Electronics. So there's three good sites to go and check out. If you're not buying from them already, you should be. Now let's begin our talk. Are you going to embrace Eurorack or 5U this year? Dear friends, it's not a fight and you can have all two if you want. I doubled in a Eurorack and now I'm back to 5U. So if I do any construction, it will have to be 5U compatible. Why would a user choose to build a 5U gear instead of Eurorack in 2022? Well, one good reason is the discrete components that I just showed you a moment ago. If you're going to be dabbling in Eurorack construction, you're going to need surface mount technology equipment. Uh, basically, you're going to have to have some kind of a microscope if you have bad eyes to even see what you're doing and you're going to be dealing in essence with the micro miniature. Tooling your workshop for the micro miniature is not cheap. And what's worse, uh, dear friends, is that it is an exacting problematic type of activity. Now you may learn the skill and you may become a perfectly professional DIYer dealing with that technology. But dear friends, for older people among you, 
who have experienced the joy of the 1970s and 1980s in electronics, nothing can beat an ordinary soldering station and uh, some good old DIL jewel in line IC chips, discrete transistors, good old quarter watt resistors, and the capacitors to make it all come together. And dear friends, for prototyping and construction, you can do a whole number of different technologies. Vero strip, as I showed you in a previous video, or you can even etch your own boards easily. So the real prototyper has a lot more joy working with the old time electronics than the new surface mount micro miniature boards. Therefore, if you're going to decide to double in a Euro rack construction, first of all, you better find good kits because making your own circuits, doing your own boards is not going to be pleasant in the surface mount generation. And even if, dear friends, you should buy a DIY kit that is Euro rack and surface mount, you will need considerably more skill and um, tooling to be able to really do it justice. And I would venture to say you will ruin a few very expensive kits before you master your craft. Why would you do this? What would be the benefit, dear friends, of getting into a Euro Rock DIY? Well, dear friends, size. If you want a small portable rig that you can travel about in a small case, then the Euro Rock is the thing for you whether you go DIY or not. But if you've got a whole basement or a whole room to play with, the joy of the gigantic synthesizer is going to outweigh the benefits of the small compact that you would travel from place to place with. We want you, dear friends, to go into modular with your eyes wide open. We don't want you to have regrets because it's an expensive and time-consuming rabbit hole to go down. Now you will go and I will give you some links for guys who have built up huge synthesizers over the years entirely on their own. Sometimes they use their own format for the front panels and the size. Other times they design them to follow the format. But in either case, time has been on their side. When you see their mammoth creations in photos on the internet, know that this wasn't done in a day or two. Years and years of building cabinet after cabinet was their joy in life. Whether they were musicians or not was immaterial. The primary joy was a building electronics that had some sort of utility. Obviously they would be interested in music and that would be an added um, desire that they would have in building their creations. Dear friends, at the dawn of 2022, you have a lot of choice on your hands. 
you can go 5U being big and expansive and expensive. Expansive and expensive. You can go Eurorack compact. $5,000 worth of Eurorack modules will probably be something only a foot by a foot, a really small case. You can sink large sums of money into Eurorack gear. So is there any basic advantage to the large format other than the visual and the fact that it takes up a lot of space? Dear friends, a lot focuses on the type of music that you make and this is often neglected. You can get some indication of how the various rigs are normally configured and how they sound by going to various channels on the YouTube where the proponents of modular hang out. There are YouTube channels where the primary focus is 5U and there are YouTube channels where the primary focus is Eurora. And uh, you will listen to the sort of music that they create with their rig. But older people who were around in the 70s and 80s and who have fond memories of the bands back then have often grown up desperately wanting their childhood dream of owning a synthesizer like what we have here in the background. So, for that type of person, the Eurorack is never going to satisfy. Now, I've, all, I've also mentioned the fact that this uh, scale of construction is easier to work with from an electronics point of view. It is, in fact, for the most part, an analog computer. And op amps are the primary ICs that you will use, socketed or otherwise. This is not normally true of the Eurorack. Those modules, for the most part, are primarily digital. They are not analog. And not only are they digital, but they're large-scale integrated. There has to be a certain sense of satisfaction at using the lower-scale integration, the single-function modules that you can maintain yourself with readily available components. You can amaze your friends as the animal grows to fill an entire basement. So, where does that leave us at the beginning of 2022? Dear friends, I sense here that you want some circuits to build and you want to get cracking with your DIY. I've been a long time in dealing with it. Personally, I haven't had a lot of time to do um, actual um, prototyping. And I can't actually throw circuits at you that I haven't fully tested myself. And the thing about it is that I'm so in love with my synthesizers.com system that I'm thinking of putting on two more tiers. Dear friends, stick with the program, and grow with the channel, and be sure to be making good music or getting ready to build some electronic circuits. See you in the next video.